talking to the android version here is the 12 the security patch level here is the 5th of july one the kernel here is as usual the Ventum kernel and the pixel os the build number here as you can see now moving back this is the ui and as you can see the quick look to the home screen ui and the launcher it's pretty much smooth it's very smooth i must say the launcher the smoothness on this room is just great i want to highlight it in the beginning of the video now moving to the settings this is the ui and there are no fancy stuff available here like the customizations there are no such things available it's just the pure stock android rom and in the system these are the options we also get to see the thermal profiles which we can set like for the youtube we can set to browser not everything as these are these are all the applications available and for the games we can set the benchmark browser camera dialer gaming and streaming so you we can set the thermal profiles here now moving back in the gestures we get to see the quick tap gesture available and we can take the screenshot with the quick tap as you can see by just double tapping on the back we can just take the screenshot so this is a good cool feature available here in this room the swipe to screenshot option here is also available the one handed mode everything these the enable advanced restart options the double tap to check phone option here is also available which is also working perfectly fine i'll show it to you as you can see the double tap to wake now once again you double tap and then it will go to the lock screen now moving back these are the options the system update option here is available but i haven't got any update okay so a new update here is available so you will get to see the ota updates in this room and i just got the 12th august one which is the latest one available i'll just update to it and move to the further review moving to the another settings in the security these are the other options available then the wallpaper and style these are the options and the change wallpaper these are all the google wallpapers we get to see here in this room all the google wallpapers living universe bloom we can just download them the bloom here we also get to see the live versions here now moving back in the display options the adaptive brightness here is available the lock screen dark theme icon manager here is available then the night light here is available which is also which is not working in this room also the brightness just gets very high it will get to the night light but the brightness just increases and when you adjust the brightness as you can see it has got into the normal mode and when you turn off it is again got into the the full brightness mode so night light here is just not working in any of the custom rooms currently then the live display colors smooth display option here is available and the force 120 hertz also is available double tap to sleep double tap to wake high touch polling rate option here is available we moving forward to the battery options the battery backup here on this room is not that good i had you i'm using this from more than a week now and the battery backup on this room here is not that great i'll show you the battery stats so from 90 percent to 53 percent i got 2 hours and 16 minutes of screen on time which i used completely at 120 hertz then another here is 76 percent to 1 percent only 1 hour and 36 minutes of screen on time then another i'll show you from 94 percent to 61 percent 1 hour 59 minutes so battery backup on this room here is just as usual average and here i got a good battery backup from 85 percent to 18 percent i got five hours of screen on time which is really good battery backup on this so sometimes you get good battery backup but sometimes it's just not that great and there is also an overnight battery drain issue present here in this room so you just have to take a note because at night the overnight battery drain here like sometimes it drains around 20 percent battery sometimes around 10 to 12 percent so it's not fixed the overnight battery drain issue here is present here in this room sometimes you will get, the phone just gets switched off so yeah these are some issues with the battery backup on this room and overnight battery drain here is there to charge from 1 percent to 90 percent it took 111 minutes so charging time here is also average 
and i'll show you my battery health is currently at 91% so yeah you can judge according the battery backup and the battery charging times and if you want to buy this case there will be a link available in the description below i bought it from amazon so you can buy it from there another other options so these were the settings options the security fingerprint scanner everything here is working perfectly fine as you can see the fingerprint scanner here is working perfectly fine face unlock everything here is working no issues home has been encrypted but you can decrypt it with the password so yes then in going to the stock lock options then here you will get these the options then moving to the home screen the ui here as i showed you it's just the stock android pixel ui and talking about the camera we get to see the miui cam the anx cam available here in this room which is working absolutely fine no issues everything works fine here Google camera here currently I am using is the LMC1 this is the G cam currently I am using and which is really good the front here is not that great but the rear camera here in the LMC is good now moving back this is the app drawer so these were the options now talking about the safety net status the safety net status has passed and all the banking apps google pay everything here is working perfectly fine no issues talking about the performance here are the geekbench scores 509 and 1557 so the scores here are just average as usual we get in the snapdragon 732g so scores are great these are the previous rom 1 so 47742 so compared to the previous rom i installed to that the scores here are great and overall performance here also is just great the rom here is pretty much smooth it's very smooth i am very much impressed with the rom the gaming performance here is also good in this rom so no issues the bgmi everything works fine call quality here is also just great no no, no issues with the calls too the wi-fi and everything just works fine this is the ui for the quick settings as usual the android 12 one everything here is working perfectly fine the bugs here are that i had already told you the battery drain issue overnight battery just goes off then there's also a random reboot bug sometimes the phone just automatically gets switched off there's no random reboot bug the phone just gets switched off and the does not turn on automatically so that's also an issue here then another bug here is this phone here i have just turned it off like this way the phone will just not wake up well no matter how many times i press the power button the phone will just not wake up then it will auto wake up automatically so these are some bugs present otherwise everything here is working perfectly fine no issues the rom here is pretty much smooth and usable as a daily driver but these are some small issues which i hope they solve in the next build so yeah this was it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and bye